What's up guys, Logs here, and welcome to some Call of Duty World at War. We're on World at War today because I don't have the Call of Duty Vanguard beta, and I'm sure a lot of you don't have the Vanguard beta because we don't have PlayStations. And I honestly could have bought a PlayStation just to play the beta, which is what I did with Cold War. Looking back, I'm so glad I didn't do that this time. The Cold War Alpha on PlayStation, when it was exclusive for PlayStation, I played that on like a PlayStation 4, and it was horrible, man. Like going from 100 FPS to a console with like 60 FPS, it just looks terrible. Like the game is all choppy, it just looks bad. So I didn't want my first impression of Vanguard to be on the PlayStation with a terrible FOV, terrible frame rate, and just put a bad taste in my mouth. And also watching gameplay on the alpha for uh, Champion Hill 2v2, it just looked bad with like the colors and everything. So I'm really glad I didn't play it on the PlayStation. Otherwise I might have a different opinion about the game. For someone like me who's only been able to watch gameplay, I can say I do really, really think I will like this game a lot. It looks really fun and it looks really awesome to play. I cannot wait to play it this weekend. But today we're just gonna have to play Ward Out War. <laughs> so we're on the PlayStation 3 there's 218 players online which i definitely don't think that's true as soon as i click on find match it says there's 14 players on team deathmatch and like no other people in the playlist so i think the 200 players has like counted like the zombies players too like zombies people in multiplayer and then if i look at hardcore there's 15 players in hardcore there's no way 15 players in hardcore right now there's actually a hardcore team deathmatch? No freaking way. Yeah, guys, this is my favorite Call of Duty of all time, War at War, and it was a really, really underrated Call of Duty. All right, Sergeant Gomer running around with the MG42. I forgot about spawn delay. Like, uh, every time you get killed, there's like 10 seconds you have to wait, which is stupid. Dude, back then, when this game first came out, hardcore was like a huge thing. Like, if you played hardcore, you were a real man. Oh my god, there's no way. I am not a real man, I'm leaving this shit. <laughs> I will say, going from playing on PC to PlayStation 3, like, I, you probably can't tell, but I can definitely tell, but the frames being playing on 60 frames, it's so weird. It feels like I'm skipping, like, the game is skipping, like, just, I don't know how to explain it. You probably can't even tell. So that's a big thing I noticed on Vanguard is they brought back dogs, um, but it's completely different from this game. The dogs in Vanguard, it's going to be three dogs instead of like a horde of dogs in this game where you call them in and they all just freaking run in and attack you. I really like that they're kind of going back with the old killstreak system where there's no like, you know, manned gunships or chopper gunners, AC-130s. There's pretty much just uh, really basic killstreaks that you call in, whether it's an airstrike, a spy plane, or dogs i really hated going against those man kill streaks like the gunships and stuff i always preferred like the simple three kill streaks like this game or cod 4 i never really liked the manned ones because they were just got so annoying when people were spamming them dude all right artillery out of the map you always throw it out of the map but against these guys because they're not snipers i'll probably call on my dogs if they were snipers i would show some courtesy and not call them in but since they are not snipers they're getting the dogs, dude. Yeah, man, I'm super excited for the beta this weekend. Like, being able to play it on PC is going to be insane. I am really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. I think the game in general is going to be fun. I will say I am going to be uploading a lot more videos on Vanguard, but I also want to do, like, a little mix-up of uh, cut comms and stuff, like this type of video. If you guys like these type of videos where I just like do a cut commentary, play over some gameplay, uh, let me know. I do plan on doing more of these in the future because reactions, you know, they're good and they're good for the channel for views sometimes, but honestly, I'm getting tired of it, man. I wanna create my own content and like kind of connect with you guys on the channel because that's something I've never done before on the channel is just talk to you guys, you know, react to comments and the last video, previous, all that stuff. And I also wanna dive into like more stuff of my personal life, um, mainly like my job. As a police officer, I encounter a lot of things and I have a lot of cool stories that I think you guys might want to hear. So I might jump into more of that in the future. If you guys want me to talk about that stuff, just leave a comment saying you do. I'm definitely rocking PTRS, dude. I can't wait for them to bring this gun to the game. I know they're going to do it because they brought it to World War II and it's just a trend in Call of Duty now, the PTRS. Even though this was never a real sniper, it was an anti-tank rifle. 
it's it's kind of a part of Call of Duty now. There's a lot of snipers that haven't been uh, like introduced or anything because it's just the beta. But the Springfield, really, I mean, the Springfield hasn't even been announced, but I know that's going to come to the game. The Springfield, Arasaka, and Lee Enfield are all coming. I, I, I can already guarantee you that, man. Because you got to think, the Mosin Nagant, or the three-line rifle that they have right now, is the Russian faction. Uh, the Car 98 is the German faction. Springfield is American. Japanese has the Arasaka. So all of those guns are going to be coming, I guarantee you. Princess of World of War is going to freaking triple statue charge. Also, the Lee Enfield is British. And uh, a funny thing is, I own pretty much all of those snipers I just listed off. I own an Enfield. I own a Springfield. I own a Mosin, a car. I have all those snipers in real life. I've thought about making videos like shooting them and just comparing them to the game, but I don't know. I don't have the sights on any of them, like the actual scopes on any of them. Dude, as clunky as this game is, it's still fun to go back and play. It's just the connection's bad, man. If you had a good connection, if you had host or something, it's actually a really smooth playing game. But just off host, it's just pretty laggy, pretty terrible. It also depends on who you're playing against, because Princess Sword at War here is just snaking me all freaking day. I mean, how do you even snake like this? This guy's insane. It's crazy to think that World at War is one of the only Call of Duties that has that ability to, like, manipulate your movement to make you better. Like, uh, or just annoying. Snaking really isn't in any other Call of Duty. I mean, it, they have it in Black Ops 1, I'm pretty sure. But in World at War, like, this is the only one you can, like, really abuse it. It's similar to slide canceling, I guess, on Modern Warfare, where you can just, you know, abuse it to your advantage. I'm just really excited to see like what's to come with the new Call of Duty, like Vanguard and everything. Because it's a World War II setting, I didn't really like the last World War II game by Sledgehammer, but uh, this one looks a lot different, so hopefully it will be better. No, 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 Martyrdom. I'm so glad they don't have Martyrdom in Vanguard. I uh, hope they don't add it. Oh, come on, man. And that's game, guys. That was terrible, 8 and 11. Yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'm just trying to pass the time until the beta comes out this weekend. I will be uploading more videos on the beta once it comes out and I can play it and record on it. But until next time, guys, let me know in the comments what you think I should talk about, any topics, questions you have for me, about anything. Other than that, guys, I am out. Deuces.